And that will be it from the rest of Africa now to the foreign scenes where Joe Biden says he would unite the country as he accepted the Democratic nomination to challenge President Donald Trump in the November the 3rd U.S. election. Biden's speech on the fourth and final night of the Democratic National Convention was the culmination of a half century in the public eye for the former U.S. Senator and Vice President, who fared poorly in two previous runs for the White House in 1988 and in 2008. It concludes a nominating convention that was held virtually because of the pandemic, with the party's biggest names, rising stars, and even prominent Republicans lining up via video to support Biden and attest to the urgency of ending what they called Trump's chaotic presidency. The acceptance speech gave Biden his biggest audience since he was largely sidelined from the campaign trail by the pandemic in March. Ella Baker, a giant of the civil rights movement, left us with this wisdom. Give people light and they will find the way. Give people light. Those are words for our time. The current president has cloaked American darkness for much too long. Too much anger, too much fear, too much division. Here and now, I give you my word. If you entrust me with the presidency, I will draw on the best of us, not the worst. I'll be an ally of the light, not the darkness. It's time for us, for we the people, to come together and make no mistake. United, we can and will overcome this season of darkness in America. We'll choose hope over fear, facts over fiction, fairness over privilege. I'm a proud Democrat, and I'll be proud to carry the banner of our party into the general election. So it's with great honor and humility, I accept this nomination.